Hello, everyone. I'm Maeve. I'm glad you're here. This is Lulu. And um, for today's practice, I was thinking about this as I was driving home to do this practice today. Um, I have a tendency to not push myself very hard. <laughs> I like to be in my comfort zone and uh, I used to really enjoy being in like a, a state of like, oh, this is hard and like more like the challenge of the mind to see if I can get through it. And I've gotten a little bit complacent. I have probably talked about this sporadically over the few years we've been doing this from home because I feel it. I can feel that I get a little bit complacent in my own practice. And so our theme today is safely uncomfortable. I want you to feel safe, but I really do want you to find a, a place where you're not just like, oh, I could be here for a long time or like this is my happy place. And I tend to lean in that direction. I like to be in a happy place, but there is a lot of growth that happens in the space of discomfort. So with that said, you have the ability to self-monitor and to veto and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna offer you a practice that hopefully will feel pretty challenging, but doable, and you always have the ability to back off as needed. Okay, we're gonna lie down. I just came from a client who had dogs and now Lulu is like giving me the full sniff down like where you been mama? I know, I know. So we're gonna lie down and the soles of the feet are gonna come together. Supta Baddha Konasana. If this doesn't work for you, just find something that does. Giving ourselves this moment to arrive on our mat. Arrive in your breath, in your body, even in your mind, arrive in your thoughts and notice where your mind has a tendency to rest and to go. Because we do have, just like we have physical um, habits and tendencies, we also have habits and tendencies with our thoughts. to balance the breath so that it feels pretty even on the inhale to exhale. I like a six count somewhere in that window. And then we're gonna change this position and I want you to really be thoughtful of how you feel here. So you can either just pull your right knee up or you can bring your right leg up and come into half happy baby while keeping the left leg in bottom. I'm getting a adjustment from the Helping you to ground down. <laughs> in a lot of yoga, especially Iyengar, they use these sandbags to kind of give the body weight in different places. And that's like Lulu right now. I think she actually weighs more than the sandbags that they use. She's a big girl. Thanks, Lulu. You're a good helper. Half happy baby. There's a pull from the shoulder, from the hand, from the arm, and there's a push from the foot, from the leg, from the hip. So you have this static yet dynamic thing happening over here, this energy happening over here. One more breath here. And then carefully release this right leg back down. Take a moment here. Back in Supta Baddha Konasana. And then we'll keep the right leg down. I don't know how to pull this off with Lulu. Okay, you're a big girl. And then the left leg is gonna come up. And half happy baby on this side. So in my house, when Lulu claims my lap, everyone has to wait on me. It's like this. I'm like, oh, I need a drink. Can you get me a drink? Lulu's in my lap. 
So this is continuing into my practice clearly. Same push and pull. And then just like we did on the first side, carefully release that left foot back to the right foot. Little pause here. And then knees to the sky. Separate the feet about hips distance. And then just simply bridge your hips up. You know, this goat yoga is like a fad for the past, I don't know, eight years or so. I don't know why there's not cat yoga. I mean, look at this. You're such a good little yogi to do. Let me hold you up. One more inhale. And then releasing down. And then however you want, come up and around. And hands and knees. And now I'm covered in fur. Right leg straight out to the right side. And then back in front a few times. I know what you need. Come here. into a neutral spine right in the center sweep the right leg back take the left arm forward now lift lift that arm lift the leg beautiful so we're getting this extension stay here or bend the back leg find the foot and then kick away good open back up left hand down keep the right leg up three-legged dog so tuck the left toes if it feels nice open up the hips drop really heavy into this left heel and then step the right foot forward left knee down right hand to right thigh A little twist here option to bend the back leg find the foot totally optional allow this shoulder to open whether you're here or here Engage the left hip a bit, the glutes. One more inhale. Come around, release the hand down. Straighten the front leg. Ardha Hanumanasana, use blocks as needed. Bend the front leg, step back, plank, breath in. Stay on the balls of the feet, up dog on the balls of the feet. And then knees down, and then left leg straight out to the left side. And then forward and back a few times here. I know I said I was going to offer a practice that would be challenging and you're probably like, where is that practice? We're going to ease our way into it. Don't worry. It wasn't like from start to finish. Come back into center and sweep the left leg back. Right arm forward. Now lift. Extension. Beautiful. Beautiful. Stay here or reach back for your foot and then kick away. So good. A 
open back up if you have the foot your right toes are tucked your right hand comes down three legged dog so press the ground away hands and your foot you can turn the hips open but keep this left leg straight maybe lift the leg a little higher and then step your left foot forward top of the mat right knee down and then we'll twist here engage the right glutes consider bending the back leg and taking the foot left shoulder opens up Have the foot carefully release. Come around, Arda Hanumanasana. Mm -hmm. Well done. Rebound the front leg. Step back. Plank. Up dog on the balls of feet. Right knee, right elbow. Up dog, balls of the feet. Right knee, left elbow. Inhale, up dog, balls of the feet. Down the center. Step the right foot forward. Crescent lunge, inhale. Good. Now I want, I want, I hate when I say I want. I'd like it if you challenge yourself on your depth of work. So bending the front knee as much as you can and then powering up the back leg to keep you very strong here. Front hip points are lifting, arms are lifting. Don't worry about your shoulders hiking up. It is fine for them to do that. And then lift the rib cage, lift the torso. Find space here. It's like you're trying to like pull your torso out of your lower body. You're gently drawing your feet toward each other, energetically, to give you more strength. Breath in, hands down, straighten the front leg. Any amount, use blocks as needed. Soften the front knee, plank in hand. Up dog, balls with feet. Left knee, left elbow, exhale. Up dog, inhale, balls of the feet. Cross over, exhale. Inhale, up dog, balls of the feet. Exhale down the center, left foot forward. Crescent lunge, inhale. Both knees bend initially. And then when you can get nice and deep, and you feel the feet drawing toward each other, then start to power up that back leg. Use your hip. Send your arms, send your ribs, send your back body up, maybe your gaze. Last inhale. Release your hands down. Front leg straightens any amount. her mark. Soften the front knee, plank inhale, chaturanga or the floor, up dog or cobra, down dog. Press your heels down, press your hands down. Equal energy legs and arms. Think about that. Uh, equal energy arms and legs. Hands and feet. Inhale, heels high. 
Exhale, bend your knees, look at your hands, walk, step, or jump, feet to hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands to your heart, exhale. So nice. Inhale, reach up, breath and tempo. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway. Right foot steps back, exhale. Crescent lunge, inhale. Find your deepest lunge. Exhale, hands down. Plank, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Your back bend, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right leg back, inhale. Right foot forward, exhale. Your deepest lunge, inhale. Ladies and gentlemen. Exhale, hands down. This is Step top, top of your mat. Halfway, inhale. This is a reason to celebrate. Bow, this exhale. Rise, inhale. Now, I know know Elbows wide, exhale. Now, inhale, in reach. Exhale, fold. Halfway, inhale. Left foot back, exhale. Deep, deep, deep. Then rise up. Press. Exhale, hands down. Plank, inhale. Your pathway to down dog. Left leg back, inhale. And then left foot forward. Crescent. I don't know why my cupboard's not closed. Something fell down when I got Lulu her towel. Hands down, step forward. Inhale, halfway. Are you investigating? And then bow. Rise, inhale. Hands to your heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Bow forward, exhale. Inhale. Halfway, right foot steps back, exhale. Deep, 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 lift, lift, lift. Hands to the ground, three-legged dog, left leg to the sky, open the hips, drop into this right heel. Bend the left knee with purpose. And then left knee, right elbow. Inhale back. Left knee, left elbow. Inhale back. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Skandasana on the left hip, so sink to the top of your mat. Beautiful. Whatever you want to do with the arms. You're gonna look to the back of your mat. Pull from the front heel, bend the right knee. Left hand, left knee come down. Option to take this back foot or just twist. We've been here, we're just facing the other way. Come back around. Ardha Hanumanasana. Release the foot down. Tuck the left toes, come through center. Gotta sink deeply. Yes, beautiful. left foot take these left toes bring them around square I'm sorry right toes square your left toes so do bring them around actually now that I think about it and we're coming up into Ardha Chandrasana now maybe your left hand comes to your left shin
You're going to take care of yourself here. You're going to bring this right leg around. You're going to shoot it forward. And you're going to sit down. Half happy baby in this right leg. Left foot can come across a little bit. Sit up tall. Yes, beautiful. So you're pushing away. You're pulling in. This is pretty much the same position we had in the beginning of class. Just finding it, sitting upright. Pull back, push away, lift the heart a little higher. Sit way up on those sitting bones. And then right leg extends out. Inhale, lift. Exhale, Janu Shurshasana. Inhale, rise up. Put your big toes down center yourself so make sure you feel centered here in your hips reach the arms forward lift the heart up navasana rock toward your sitting bones so forward a little bit on the hips mm -hmm. if you're comfortable here <laughs> if you feel like you could be here indefinitely you need to come forward more i promise you Cross your shins, chaturanga. Rise, inhale. And down dog. Awesome. Okay, you can stay in down dog. If you need a child's pose, go for it. I'm gonna shorten my stance a little bit and bring my feet together so they have a sense of squeezing my legs like one. Inhale to your toes if you're coming with me. Exhale, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, and then we're gonna try to pull the knees into the chest as we sh like take off. So here, and we do that five times. I'm accidentally going up. And then feet to hands. Rise up, inhale. And bow forward. So good. Halfway inhale. Left foot steps back. Deep, deep, deep crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to the ground. Three-legged dog, right leg to the sky. Open the hips if it's nice. Sink into the left heel. Strong arms. Purposefully bend the right knee if you want. Inhale, exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, back, exhale, right elbow. Inhale, back, right foot top of the mat. Sit to the top of your mat, right hip sinking, skandasana. Anything you wanna do with the arms. Dig the left heel down, activate the back of that left leg, lengthen your spine more, open your chest more wherever you are. One more inhale, and then exhale, pull, 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 and then come around, back knee down option for the foot yeah Ardhana Manasana bend the left knee goddess come around sink 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 lift 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 through the spine
inner thighs rotate open balance in the feet toes forward. You're going to push off the left toes and take off. And then as you're here, when you find your center, maybe bring this right hand to your right shin. Your chest is turning open. Your left shoulder is working to stack above your right shoulder. So left shoulder on top of right shoulder up your back foot, your ankle. Be aware of where your leg is in space. And then take care. Woo! You're going to bring that left leg around. And you're going to come on down. Yes. And then half happy baby on this left leg. Your right foot is down, your knees out, you can bring it as much over toward your hip, uh, opposite hip as you want. And push and pull, lift up. So try not to be resting back here. Pull with the hand and the arm and the shoulder to pull the chest through. And lift up onto the sitting bones. And then however much you're pulling with the arm, the leg is matching that and pushing forward. So you've got this beautiful balance over here that's going to help you bring you up. And then push the leg away. Janu Shurshasana. your big toes. So take this moment and make sure that you're balanced in your hips. Like there's no rush to get into this next little bit. And then before we go anywhere, take the curve out of your back as much as you can. And then lift up. Shift yourself toward your sitting bones. You can hold on if you need to. Maybe the leg straight is not that important. Cross at your shins. Chaturanga. Rise, inhale. And down dog, exhale. So you have the same option. Stay here, child's pose if you want. I'm gonna shorten my stance a little bit just so that I have a shorter dog and these little jumps, cannonballs as I like to call them, are a little bit more centered. High to the toes, bend the knees, and then jump up. And we'll do it again five times. And then feet to hands. Halfway inhale. Bow, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. A little pause here. Feel your breath. Find your center. We're going to do all that again with some add-ons. You don't have to add on if you don't want to. Inhale, reach up. Bow forward, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Right foot steps back. Stay low. And then lift the torso, crescent. 
exhale, hands down. Left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Open up the hips, bend the knee, flip to wild thing if you like. Come around, left knee, right elbow. Three-legged dog, inhale. Left knee, left elbow. Inhale back. Step the left foot forward, skandhasana in the left hip. Nice. Pull, pull, pull from that back foot. Anjaneyasana twist. Kind of Anjaneyasana, more low lunge, sorry. And then Ardha Hanumanasana. Bend the right knee, tuck the left toes. Goddess, come through center. Get as low as you can. And we transition from here, half moon. Maybe left hand right onto your shin. Maybe Chapasana. Ooh, I'm gonna use the wall, I used the wall. I did. And then right leg's gonna come through. We're gonna sit down however you need to. Take this right leg here. Left knee opens out. This is perfect, stay here or bring your shoulder inside your knee. Maybe extend this leg out. Now you can either go into Navasana boat pose or you can keep the shoulder inside your knee. Take your hands forward. From Navasana you'll go into Chaturanga, otherwise Kundanyasana two. And then Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, down dog. Smooth out your breath. Stay there or five hops. Inhale, exhale, hop up. Inhale, exhale, hop up. Inhale, exhale, hop up. Inhale, exhale, hop. Up. Inhale, exhale, hop. One more. This time, feet to hands. Inhale, rise up. Bow forward. Beautiful. Halfway inhale. Left foot steps back. Get low. Rise. Yes. Hands down. Right leg to the sky. Open the hips. Bend the knee. Stay there. Or wild thing. Come around, right knee, left elbow. Three-legged dog, right knee, right elbow. Inhale back, step the foot forward, skandhasana. Pull from the left heel, right hand down, right knee down, back of the mat, twist. Half splits. Left knee bends. Goddess. Start to prep. Half moon. Maybe right hand onto your right shin. Maybe chapasana. Your left leg is going to come around and through. And then half happy baby. Good, I'm gonna change my view here a little bit. Stay there, take the hand across if you'd like. Knee inside, extend open. So you'll come back to center if you want, into boat pose, then into chaturanga, or you'll keep this knee inside. You come forward. Hug the elbows in. Kundinyasana to Chaturanga. Rise. Down dog. Really nice. Stay in down dog or we have five jumps again. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Hop up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
inhale <laughs> exhale last one this time feet to hands rise all the way up to stand and hands to your heart really good inhale rise up exhale and bow halfway inhale chaturanga exhale inhale open down dog exhale smooth steady breath lift your heels inhale bend your knees look at your hands get your hips up feet to hands halfway inhale bow exhale rise inhale elbows wide exhale reach inhale bow exhale halfway inhale chaturanga exhale inhale lift down dog steady breath balance the effort through your body find as much ease as effort lift your heels inhale bend your knees look at your hands feet to hands halfway inhale fold exhale rise inhale elbows wide exhale inhale forward fold halfway chaturanga inhale rise down dog high to your toes inhale bend your knees look forward feet to hands halfway bow exhale rise hands to your heart exhale inhale reach up separate your feet malasana breath in lift your heart hands to the ground crow you don't have to leave the floor but you might want you to get together right foot down left hand block or floor left leg stretches back open up revolved half moon Bend both of your knees, bring the right knee, I'm sorry, the left knee outside the right calf. Sit down, twist. So good. I want you, to get together. you don't have to change. I'm just gonna switch directions so that this next part will be visible. One more inhale here. Exhale, come around. And just open the twist up the other way. This is perfect, this is beautiful. This does not need to change. If you want, Kundinyasana, two. So you're gonna take this right leg out. I'm kicking the wall, but you get the idea. Come back out. Beautiful, I'm gonna turn back around. <laughs> Shift your weight into your right leg. Lift up. Warrior three to standing splits. And then we're gonna play here as much as you want. So if you're happy in standing splits, wonderful, stay there. If you want, pick up your right heel, bend your right knee. That's the only way that's gonna happen for most of us anyway. And then you're gonna tip and push, like you tip, you push from the bottom foot, you spring and you swing with the top leg. 
want you to get together. I want you to get together. Chair. Inhale. I want you to get together. Really nice. Sink down, sink down, seated, bakasa. Knees to triceps, push your hands away, pull your feet toward your butt, round your back. Low boat. And bakasa on your back. You don't know my name yet. By the time you looked away, already knew I couldn't fake it. Boat pose. Chaturanga. I got this need for you. Rise. Down dog. Good. Stay in down dog. Child's pose if you need it. Shorten your down dog if you want. We're gonna practice some pikes. So heels come up, knees bend, and then just trying to get your hips above your shoulders and your legs will straighten out. We'll do about five of them. They get lower, everyone. And then feet to hands. Rise to stand. Malasana, sink down. So good. Crow or not. Left foot down, right hand blocker floor. Revolved half. Extend the back leg, the hip. Extend through your upper back. Bend both knees, right knee to the outside of that left calf. Sit on down. Arda Matsendra. Sit up tall. Try to come up onto the sitting bones. Last inhale. Unravel. You don't have to do anything with this. You can just be here. If you want. Just bring the hands around. You can also extend the left leg without even picking the right leg up. Which I'm going to do because I'm going to hit the wall no matter what. It's still hard. Plenty hard. Come back around. So good. Come through center. Low boat. Oh, I screwed up. Don't worry. I can fix it. <laughs> Seated Bakasana. Right foot's gonna come behind, left leg comes through, warrior through, warrior three, warrior through. It is a warrior through to warrior three. And then standing splits. And then we let our handstand play if you want it. You can turn to the wall, pick up your left heel, bend the left knee, drop the right leg, and then push from the left leg so you're springing off and you're gonna swing your right leg simultaneously. chair. It's kind of a rough landing there. Sit down and then lie down. Really nice. Bridge.
equal sensation in the feet, inner outer foot, front back foot. Equal sensation through your spine. One more inhale, and release down. Breath in, breath out. Bridge again, or up bow, set it up. Inhale, rise up. Equal sensation through your spine, through your arms and legs, if you are an up bow. If you need a more restorative back bend on this last one, that's what you're going to do. If you are down for one more bridge or up bow, that's where you're going to go. Play your edge safely. And then releasing down, exhale. Good. Knees drop in. You can take the feet as wide as you want. Soften your eyes. Soften your breath. It usually feels pretty intense after backbending. Just smooth it out. Bring the feet into neutral, right leg to the sky. Take your left leg, you're gonna pick it up and move it over to the right. You're gonna cross the right leg on top of the left, pick up both of your feet, both of your knees, go makasana. You know if this doesn't work, you just do something else, like ankle to knee or pigeon. And then hold wherever it feels appropriate on your body. Do your best to drop your sitting bones down a little bit and they're kind of, instead of pointing up toward the sky with your sitting bones, try to point them forward and let your sacrum get heavy, your shoulders get heavy, which might seem impossible if this is a tighter position for you. Just do what you can do. I know you know this, but it's always worth saying that we're practicing our version of every posture. There's no ideal version. There's no perfect version. There's variations on every single posture. A lot of it's the intention behind what we are doing. And so you make accommodations based on the intention behind what we're doing. left foot back down, right foot down. Pick up your left leg, move the right leg a little over, the foot over, foot and leg over to the left, and then cross this left leg on top. You could even stay here by the by. If this is like, if you feel something here and it feels good, fantastic. If you want, lift the legs up and hold at your knees and just encourage the legs to go across. Like, so right leg is moving a little left and left leg is moving a little right can hold down lower on the leg. And in the back of the head, in the back of the shoulders, shoulder blades, the back of the hips all get a little heavier. And as much as you can, you're releasing your sitting bones down and forward. 
So rather than going into a crunch here, you are doing your best to neutralize your spine. Gently release, put the right foot back down, the left foot back down. If it's okay, and it might not be, Baddha Konasana on the feet and the legs. And then just like we started. If it's okay, pick up this right leg and half happy feet. push into my right foot to help lift that leg up. Adjust your feet however you want. You're welcome to just be here. This is beautiful. If you want, arms are going to come at your side. You press your feet down and just lift your hips up. So you're in a bridge and Baddha Konasana simultaneously. We're just going to take the knees a little side to side here. And then back to center. chest, apanasana. So actively hugging the knees or the shins into your body. Sometimes I, instead of the knees, I kind of like to take the shins, so the front of my shins, and hug the lower leg into the upper leg, really deepening the crease of the hips and getting heavy, heavy, heavy in the back of the hips. And at the same time, this connection of the upper body to the lower body gives me the ability to kind of draw the shoulders broad. And then releasing the legs all the way out on the ground. Just allow the legs to take on some length here. Release the hands at your sides, palms up if it's okay. And then ideally, you're not in contact with anything other than the floor. So if there's any props around, just kind of move them off to the side. Allow yourself to get really heavy. I like to get this image in my mind of, instead of just falling into the ground, with this weight, I like to imagine I'm just floating in it. So without any contact of my fingertips or my toes or into any props, just getting a sense of floating upward with the more weight you take.
to stay here as long as you want. But if you need to exit the practice, we'll do that now. Waking up your fingers and your toes as a means to come back into your body. Come back into your breath, deepening the breath gently. And then reach the arms overhead. Bend your knees and roll to your side. And from your side, rise up to sitting. you're seated, hands to heart, and bow your mind to your heart. Rise up with an inhale. I hope in your practice today you felt capable, and challenged, and maybe a little uncomfortable at times, but very, very much up for the challenge. Thank you for joining me and going on this ride with me.